Hello students, welcome back to my another class. Hope you all will be absolutely fine. Students, today I am going to take chapter 7 of your class 10th English textbook first slide that is Glimpses of India. As you can see, this chapter consists three parts. The first is A Baker from Goa, which has been written by Lucio Rodriguez, then Korg by Lokes Obral, and the third part is Tea from Assam, which has been written by Aruk Kumar Datta. Now let's see in brief what has been described in each part. The chapter includes three short stories. First one is a baker from Goa, which is about a baker and relates to the old Portuguese days. The second one is Korg. It is a story about Korg. It's a place in Karnataka. The author describes the weather, environment, people, wildlife and landscape of Korg. The last one is Tea from Assam, which is about two friends exploring the tea gardens of Assam and also learning the legends behind it. So this was a short introduction of this chapter of all of these parts. Now let's move to the summary of the first part, A Baker from Goa. A Baker from Goa is a story that relates to the time when there was Portuguese rule in Goa. This is the story of a baker living in Govan village. During those times, people ate loaves of bread which were made in big furnaces. Students, you understand what is furnaces? Furnaces means where the breads are baked. Okay? Uh, you can say bhattiya, jinko hum hindi mein bolte The bakers were known as breeders who would come to sell these bread in the street and would make a jingle sound with the bamboo. Although nowadays we may not see these loaves, what may sometimes see the furnaces and some bakers carrying on the traditional business of their forefathers. During those days, bread was an important part of any occasion, especially the sweet bread bowl. Okay, that time the sweet bread bowl was an essential gift which was considered during any of the ceremony. Also, the baker had a peculiar dress that time, which was known as kabai. It was a single piece frock that would reach up to the knees. Baking was a profitable business at that time, as the bakers have a joyful life. Their plump physique is the testimony to this. So these are some sort of things has been described in this first part, that is a baker from Goa. Now let's have the summary of the second part. When we take the second part, Korg, we find that Korg is a story describing the Korg or Kodagu, the smallest district of Karnataka. The author describes Korg as a heavenly place that lies between Bangalore and Mysore. It is certainly God's abode as it has evergreen forests, spices and coffee plantations. From September to March, the weather is good here and thus many tourists come to visit the place. There is a famous story about the Greek or Arabic descent of the Kurg people that a part of Alexander's army had to settle here as it was not possible for them to return. Thus they settled here and married with locals. We may find people of Kurg wearing kupia a long black coat similar to the kufia that Arabs wear. The author says people of Korg are also very brave. The Korg regiment of Indian army is one of the most significant regiments. Our first army chief, General Karyappa, hails from Korg. The forests and hills of Korg provide a major source of water to the river Kaveri. From the top of Brahmagiri Hills, we can see the complete view of Korg. So here, what does the author tell us? The author tells us about the beautiful and the wonderful glimpses of India like Korg, which is full of richness and diversity. Now let's take the third part and have the summary of it. The last story, Tea from Assam, starts with the two friends, Rajveer and Pranjal, traveling to Assam. Pranjal is Rajvi's classmate and currently studying in a school in Delhi. Pranjal's father is the manager of a tea garden in Assam. Pranjal has invited Rajvi to visit his home during summer vacation. 
Rajveer visits Assam in a train with Pranjal and he keeps taking pleasure of the scenery all around what he finds. There were soft green paddy fields followed by tea bushes. After reaching to the Dhekibari tea state, which was the tea garden of Pranjal's father, they saw women with bamboo baskets who were plucking the new leaves from the plants. Assam has the largest tea plantations and no one knows who discovered the tea for the first time. There is the story about the origin of the tea. It is said that a Buddhist monk fell sleepy while meditating. So to avoid it, he cut his eyelids and threw them. Later, few saplings sprouted out of them. It is said that they were tea leaves that banished sleep after boiling and drinking it. There is one more story that tells that there was a king in China who was in habit of drinking water after boiling it. Once few twigs fell into his boiling water and what he found? He found after drinking it his sleep went off. We further come to know that tea from Assam is supposed to be the best kind of tea in the whole world. The sprouting periods last from May to July and this period yields the best tea. So students, what do you find in this chapter? We see that how beautifully the author has shown the glimpses of India which is spectacular, diverse and rich. This is for now. We'll meet in the next video. Till then take care and goodbye.